Hey guys, <clears throat> hey guys, and welcome back to Medieval. When we last left off, we had a little run around Dan's crypt, uh, got the old bones and joints moving again after, well, at least a hundred years, I believe. Uh, then we had a little walk through the graveyard, which was lovely this time of night. Uh, saw some sights, saw some creepy hands, used some runes, and followed Zarok, or Zarok, to Cemetery Hill. He is leaving a trail of death and destruction along the lands of uh, Galamir, and that just won't do. No, sir, that will not do. So, Dan finds himself in Cemetery Hill. Well, let's go for a little exploration, shall we? The hilltop mausoleum awaits atop Cemetery Hill. It's a rocky road, but exercise would do those old bones some good. Mm-hmm. Yes, and let's go see if the old witches are in town whilst we're here. I have a feeling they've probably moved on. Right, now, in the original part, oh, delightful, we have zombies. Excellent. In the last part, uh, the game volume was a little bit loud. Um, it didn't seem too bad when I was editing the video, but yeah. So, even from the shackles of death, my old enemy pursues me. You're too late, Fortescue. Already my army has risen from the grave. You will never leave this necropolis. <laughs> <laughs> I love Zarox. <laughs> oh, I don't think your dark army is going to do much against us. Hmm. Big bowling balls, huh? Is that all you've got? Right. So, yeah, a little bit quiet in the last episode. Um, I have... Well, I will hopefully uh, uh, adjust that up in this one. Also, uh, we've added some subtitles as well. So, the heroes... The mightiest heroes of Galamir are awarded a place in the Hall of Heroes. It's an exclusive club with access paid for by only the greatest of deeds. Who runs the place? We don't know. How do the heroes pass the time for all eternity? We don't know. But trust me, these heroes are the best of the best. And they deserve every moment of whatever it is they do of them. Mm -hmm. Well, hopefully we'll get some more uh, medieval games in the future and we shall see some more of our heroes. There's a nice little bit of backlog um, lore hidden away in this game for these heroes and I would like to see them fleshed out a little bit more. Even in medieval times, there were vending machines designed to part a foolish hero from his gold. Clever customers may qualify for a discount. Just don't ask the merchant how he acquires his wares. Mm. We will find out how they acquire their wares uh, in the next area. Uh, so they're the friendlies. Hmm. Now, as for parting a fool from his gold, I don't think uh, you'd be foolish to spend money with these guys. These guys are very expensive, but they're the only vendor open to us. So, you know, <laughs> needs must when the devil drives, as they say. These guardian gargoyles aren't much for conversation, and don't ask to hear their singing oh voice. Oh, God. Unless you're into rock and roll. But don't. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Well, I do like a little bit of rock and roll myself. However, uh, I don't think these guys are where these it's at. Right. So, we have some zombies. Well, let's give our new crossbow a go. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. I mean, it, 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 it does something. Some obstructions can be smashed down with clubs and certain other weapons. Try experimenting. Yes. Okay, cool. So, yeah, as the, the narrator says, the club is a very interesting weapon. A very useful weapon. Um, less really of a weapon and more of a tool in this game. I'm sure we shall... Uh, Enjoy it. You know what? Let's stop wasting our weapons. Ah, oh, we. S yeah, okay. Uh, uh, can we get away from it in time? Uh, no, we can't. <laughs> it's going to blow us into the fiery pit. Well, that was a little bit awkward. 
damn. Yeah, I've been practicing this game a little bit off camera, um, just so I know where I'm going and all that kind of stuff. It's been about a year since I've played this game. And uh, obviously, on my other save, I've unlocked everything. I've got all the abilities and all that good stuff. So it's kind of, it's kind of funny um, to not have the charge. We don't have the charge ability. I'm really missing that right now. All right, let's have a little read of this book. Damn, knowledge is power, apparently. These bones are Look at the book, Dan. Your bones if you aren't careful. I hope you have a good shield equipped. Remember that each hit on your shield will chip away at its durability. <laughs> Better it than you, though. Yes, that's true. That's true. Uh, unfortunately, we I think we only have the iron shield at the moment, which is... No, the copper shield, sorry. Which is garbage. And I don't know why I'm destroying all these gravestones. That is probably because of uh, muscle memory. Yes, destroying these gravestones was actually a trophy, but of course I've already got the trophy. So. Alright, what have we got through here then, Dan? Ah. Of great archaeological interest. Destroy the boulder and plunder the valuable treasures within. Treasures, huh? Well, that sounds good to me. What about you, Dan? I think that sounds like a, a solid investment. However, we can't get in there yet because we need a club. Hopefully we can find one soon. Yes, the club is the de facto Gallomere door opening device. Or at least boulder removal tool, I think it's fair to say. Well, it looks like we've exhausted all options. We're going to have to face the music. We're going to have to go this way. Oh, bloody hell. You know, I actually hate this bit. I don't hate this bit. That's a lie. This game's great. But this bit is a little bit of a bugger, to say the least. Right. So what we're going to do, we're going to... Be smart about this. Yes, I said it. Don't all laugh at once. Be smart about this. Um, damn it. Are you going to go? Yes, good. Now, there's a trophy for doing this uh, without taking any damage, which is easier said than done, I can assure you. Bugger. That's fine. All right. Now, once... Oh, God. As you should. Hang your heads in shame. Right, glad that nasty bit of business is out of the way. Let's get some health. Yeah, best thing to do there is just to charge to the top of the um, this mountain. Because there is some stuff down there to get. But it's kind of a pain in the ass to do that whilst you're being uh, smashed in the face with balls. The adventurer would be wise to be thorough in the exploration of an Indeed. Area. Hidden locations reap great rewards. They do. And we're going to go get those rewards now. Come on, Dan. We're, we could exit the level here, but, well, that wouldn't be very fun now, would it? We're going to go 100% these levels. Now, I don't think we're going to get another chalice for a good little while yet. At least we can replace our copper shield, which is good. We can pick up some more gold. We need gold. Uh, what have we got in here? Oh yeah, they do give us a lot of copper shields, just because those boulders really do smash the shit out of your shield. Uh, the shields are never really that brilliant in this game, all of them. You get four shields, I believe. I think you get four shields, and they all break. Um, they do get stronger as you get, because you get the copper, you get the silver, I think, then you get the gold, and then I think... You can even enchant the gold shield, or you can get an enchanted shield on top. Um, but, you know, they all break. Why are we not using the sword, Dan? Dan, sword, thank you. These guys are a nightmare. There we go. Eh, 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 eh. Come on, sir. Yes. You silly bastard. If you hadn't lost your head, you'd be more of a threat. Ooh, look at this. Look at that. Ooh, I like. Get a shot of that. Right, let's grab up the club. Excellent. The club is a crude but effective weapon. Bash with it, burn <laughs> with it. But beware, one bash too many, and it will break. His will, unfortunately. Yes, uh, it does have a percentage. If you look at the uh, icon up in the top left there, underneath Dan's portrait, it will break, sadly. Uh, each hit only does 1% damage, I believe. Unless you hit an enemy, and I think it does 2% damage then. But, you know, there's plenty of these. And it's very rare that you're actually going to use one. 
Now, in the original game, um, there were areas like this where you can actually light the club on fire and you can use that to set other things on fire. Really? I told everybody I'm recording. Uh, shut up. Go away, phone. I said mute, you fool. Right, there we go. Uh, yeah, so very rare that this thing will actually break. You can buy more of them. In the original, if you set the club on fire, it would actually burn down and lose health. Uh, it does not do... Or durability, I should say. It doesn't lose durability uh, in this version of the game, interestingly. Oh, hey, guys. Well, luckily, fire is pretty bloody effective against zombies. And to be fair, this club, in general, is not a terrible weapon. But it's not really worth using it as a weapon, to be honest. Because generally, you do need it for other things. So we've got some fire in here. What else do we have? A guide to covens for witches and witchcraft enthusiasts. A witch's coven would reach the height of its power only when all of their sacred flames were unlocked. Yeah, I see. Witches have been known to offer help to the questing adventure, mm. yet they are a reclusive people and have to be summoned by the aid of mystic charms or talismans. Mm. Let it be known that help from a witch is rarely given freely, and the witch will more often than not make a request of the adventure before any such help is given. Of course. If seeking to summon a witch, remember that they are quite territorial. Any signs of previous witch activity in an area is a good indication that a witch can be called upon. Interesting. Okay, well, I shall bear that in mind. So, we need some kind of witch talisman, you say. Alright, okay. Let's proceed further into the witch's domain. And that was stupid of me. We need fire. We need cleansing flame. Uh, we can get some cleansing flame from here. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Careful now, Dan. Don't burn yourself. Embers are not a pleasurable thing, I can assure you. There we go. Oh, shit. And what did I do? I burnt myself. I didn't even know you can burn yourself. And we just got majorly ganked there, didn't we? Oof. But then Dan reigns victorious. Because of course he does. He's Dan Fortitude. And there is our witch's talisman. And some gold. And we have the chalice, which is filled with fresh souls. Excellent. Now, not bad, Dan. Not bad. Let's get out of here, my dude. Uh, we have lost a little bit of health in our health vial, but eh, that's fine. That's fine. We should have plenty of health for now. Uh, we can put our... We can put our uh, club away. We won't need it until the next level anyway. Actually, yeah, because <laughs> we have some descriptions here. Arm. Handy when disarmed. Yeah, I don't think I shooed this off, did I? We can tear our arm off and use it as a weapon. It is uh, predictably terrible. But we can also throw it, which, again, it's terrible, but it is an unlimited um, amount of uses. And we have our small sword. Nearly blunt. Swing it hard. Yes. It's, well, it is what it is, and hopefully become fairly obsolete fairly soon. Uh, club can take some heat. Yes, it can. Throwing daggers. Throw these away. Yes, literally, because they're shit. Crossbow. You could poke out an eye with this thing. Not that there's anything clever about that, eh, Dan? Copper shield. Less protective plate, more... Less protective plate, more dinner plate. Yeah. And then Dan's helmet. Weak against arrows and everything else. Mm-hmm. Uh, the perfect gift for that special witch the someone. All right, let's have a look. Have we got anything new? Ah, oh, headless zombie. Have you ever had one of those days where you leave the house full of breezy purpose only to realize that you've left something really important at yes. home? Yes. Well, that's how these guys feel all the time. I'm not surprised. Not quite sure what they've left at home, though. Maybe their wallet. Anyway, let's go. Let's get out of here. Come on, Dan. <sighs> Adventurer. There's evil to crush. Uh, let's take the shortcut. Man, I'm really missing that charge ability. Whoa, fuck me. Dan just, like, launched himself. 
into the stratosphere there. Yeah, I mean, uh, the the movement and the controls in this game are certainly janky, but you know, it's okay. It's no worse than the original, and you know, god damn it, 20 years ago we got through the original, so I'm pretty sure we can get through this version. Anyway, onwards to the Hall of Heroes. Hopefully, we're going to get something nice. You don't always get something proper useful. Um, and I can't remember the order in which we get things, but... Back from the battle so soon. Aye. It must think it is a hero by now. But only a true hero is worthy of a place in the Hall of Heroes. See the ghostly statue of your fraudster self? When it has turned solid, a true hero you will be. Hey now, you listen here, pal. My buddy Dan here is more of a hero than you'll ever be. Uh, do you want to fill up on these? I guess we could. I guess so. <laughs> Enjoy your money, you ass. Right. Oh! Take more than the army of the evil dead to throw your strides up. I have something that may help you on your quest. You do? I give it to you freely, though I have no idea what it is. Uh, yeah. Oh, a life bottle. Uh, I would prefer a weapon, but uh, sure. Sure, why not? And there is our imposter self, the ghostly Sir Daniel Fortescue. Yeah, a bit of an insult, to be honest, Dan. We know we are worthy. We know we are worthy. Give it time, Dan. Don't worry. We shall uh, lead you through this. Now, let's get back, shall we? Are we on 17 minutes? Do we have time to do the next mission? Uh, possibly. Crossbow requires less skill than a bow to wield. It does. It does less damage as well. Right, so the hilltop mausoleum is... Nope, the cemetery hill's done. Now we need to go to the Hilltop Mausoleum. I like this level. We'll fight our first boss. The master of the Hilltop Mausoleum is just dying to meet you. Don't keep him waiting. He's got a heart of glass. Yes, don't worry. We'll smash that soon enough. Mmm. Look at this place. Looking nice. Look at the way Dan struts around like a fucking badass. Kind of looks like a bit of a nerd, but he's got it where it counts. You are entering a house of pain. Rumors abound of evil doings in the secret catacombs below this very hall. Evil, you say? Well, time for us to stamp that out. Now, remember when I said uh, we were going to find out how those... Uh, Dan. Primary weapon set, but you don't set it. Okay, that's cool. Yes, uh, this, these guys here, these imps, are how the gargoyles get most of their wares. They have rather sticky fingers, and they will steal your weapons. I don't think it's these ones with the torch that will do that. Ah, he set me on fire. Well, that's fine. Burn out the cobwebs. Luckily, we don't have flesh, or that would be slightly more awkward. Yeah, you can run, pal, but you can't hide. And we got a fresh club there. Nice. Should have waited to pick that up, but hey, that's fine. Uh, oh, you little sod. Honestly. You're all just fresh souls. Right, let's crack open these graves. And reap the rewards. Excellent. No, not quite excellent. There's nothing in there. Cheeky bastard imps have probably stolen everything. Um, Dan, it's no time to dance. Jesus. We have evil to crush. Yeah, energy vile. Sure. There's actually lots of energy on this level. Now, this mystical glowing grave. Have a little look down here, shall we? Yes. I can smell the evil. Foul demons. Watch out for sticky fingers. Mm -hmm. These thieves will strip you down to your armored <laughs> That they will. 
Rumor has it they fence their stolen wares with the merchant gargoyles. Yes. Yes, they do. Well, the day of reckoning has arrived. There we go. These things will steal anything from you as well. And if they escape and run away to their little hidey hole, you then have to buy your weapon back. Bit of a dick move, if you ask me, but, uh, hey. Gallo is an iffy place. Well, it looks like we've got some stained glass windows to smash. Okay. Now, these spikes do loads of damage to you. So, it's best to dispatch them. Really? You can walk through the stained glass? That's some serious bullshit right there. Come on. Come on. Come all. Dan's not afraid of you. There we go. Weep before the scythe. Are you coming out, sir? You coming out? No. I'll come to you then. Spill your blood. Uh, energy vial, really? Oh, okay. Right, let's go. Let's go. Run. The floor's collapsing, Dan. Ugh. Ah. Well, that was a bit of an adventure, wasn't it, Dan? Anyway, what's behind the red door? Hmm, looks like we need a room. Well, we don't have a room. Not yet. So, let's continue exploring further. Moon rune needed. Alright. You know the runes in this game would probably make an awesome set of tattoos. Noted. There we go. Get out of here. Damn stinking imps. Ugh. What next? Elves? Ugh. Right, there we go. Murder! Wanton murder! No point in running. I will kill you all. If I have oh, you little bastard! Steal my sword, will you? See, you could have had a nice slicey death from the sword, but instead I had to bludgeon your skull in. Yes. Right, nasty bit of business there, but it had to be done. The stained glass demon is the master of the mausoleum. His wretched soul lies preserved inside a frozen glass Really? Heart. Shrouded in a veil of darkness beneath the mausoleum, you will find this pre-frozen nemesis. Well, I think he shall find that there's a new master in town. Alright, come on you. Ah, you little bastard. There we go. You want some of this too, do you? There we go. 96% on the souls. Excellent. I have a quick top up of health. Ah, much better. So, there's our stained glass. Interesting. Well, we've got the moon rune now, so we can go all the way back. But what's through here? Ooh, hey, friend. There's the mad organist. I, don't, I can't even remember what he's called. What's this chap called? The would Phantom. Phantom longs to play a new tune. But he seems doomed to repeat the same cause of despair over and over. Mm hmm. Well, that doesn't sound uh, much fun, does it? Well, let's go see if we can do something about that, shall we, Dan? Because we are here to do some good as well as some damage. Okay, let's go back down now we've got the moon rune. And see if we can't kick some more souls. Right. Really want that dash ability. God, I want that dash ability. I miss it. Boop. Right, come on, you impy bastards. There we go. You know, actually. Yeah, let's go for the throwing daggers. Might as well throw these away. There you go. You want something to sell? Sell that fucker. Right, arrow in the back of your skull. Uh, damn. There's a go. Have a triple, my friend. Oh, right at the back of the head. Give him another one. Split the fucker's skull open. Right. Energy vial. And we've got some more sheep music. And some money. Run, Dan. Run. Oh, Dan. Dan. You need to get quicker than that, my lad. Well, I'm sh I s at least you survived, I suppose. These dusty, creaky bones. So, what have we got through here? The Chaos Rune. Ah, 
Push against the fire block to push it down the pathway. Yes. Well, I seize a block, I push a block. I'm a simple man. Okay, there we go. Come on, Dan. You know where we're putting that? There we go. Burn. Burn. Now we've thrown down the gauntlet. Hmm. So, what's in here? Ah, uh, more daggers. I mean, sure, why not, I guess. Smash some more of these stained glass spikes. Get some more shield action going, because why not? Smash all of this guy's glass. Because screw this guy. Okay, let's go meet our would-be challenger. I have a feeling... <laughs> it's going to be a rather shattering experience. <laughs> ah. Right. Let's get something equipped. Yes. Okay. There we go. Face me, demon. Hmm. Hello, friend. Prepare to die. Right, the demon's heart is his only vulnerable point. Yeah, this guy, you can't actually hit this guy. Until he exposes himself to you. So we shall wait, and we shall be patient, and then give him everything he's got. There we go. All right, and then run, because we don't want shards of glass in our ass. Not really. Hard enough to walk as it is. Come on, monkey boy. Come on, dude. You've, you've got to throw down the gauntlet, sir. Oh, and that was terrible. <laughs> uh, that's fine. Right, come on, Dan. There we go. Much better than using the... Ooh, he's frozen me. Really? Is that your best? Freezing me in glass. Pathetic. Pathetic. Did that hit me? I think it did. I mean, as the first boss goes, he's cool. I like him. But he's very weak. I get the feeling this guy likes to dance. Oh, God. He likes to dance. Oh, he's almost dead already. Dude, you shouldn't have bothered, man. You should just give me up the key. Would have been easier for you. Come on, expose your heart. Get this over with. You're a very pretty boy. But you're not much of a challenge. And with that, the stained glass demon is done. But we're not done here yet. We have the skull key. Now, let's go see if we can make someone's uh, day a little bit better. All right there, boss. I have some more music for you. Music to your fears. That's cheered him up some, hasn't it? Alright, you enjoy that, buddy. Now remember, the name's Daniel Fortescue. Let's go grab the cash and the chalice, and then get the hell out of here. Ah, I like it. I like it. It's a bit jazzy. Not bad. Right, let's go to the Hall of Heroes. And claim our prize. And that will lead, lead us quite nicely on to half an hour. Hmm. Okay. They're not interested in being your friend just yet. Slay a Zarok or two and maybe they'll warm up to you. Uh, who says we want to be their friend? It's the Hall of Heroes shopping mall. Yes. Bargain hunters should check out the ground floor. Well-to-do shoppers should check out the upper floor. That's where it's at. Yeah, well, don't you worry, pal. We'll be upstairs before you know it. Faster than two jiggles of a jackrabbit's ass. So, what's next for us? Oh, okay. Ah, 
Gamers Guild. What's this I hear about that Archcad Zarog still being alive? Thought you killed the fella. <laughs> Never mind, you old warhorse. Better show him what's what, eh? I expect Johnny Zombie's a bit more of a handful than you remember. How are you doing for weapons? <laughs> Here, take my war hammer. It'll smash anything and it won't fall apart like a club. I only ever get to use it cracking walnuts around this <laughs> place. <laughs> Nonsense, Fortescue. I won't take no for an answer. Knock a few heads for old Stanya Iron Hewer, eh? Yeah, thank you, Stanya. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Nonsense, Fortescue. I won't take no for an answer. Uh, we didn't. We, we didn't. We didn't say no. Right. So as uh, Iron Hammer said, this is basically an upgraded version of the club. Although you can't set it on fire. Boom! This thing is uh, quite the impressive weapon, actually. It's not bad. Probably won't use it too much in combat, I don't think. Maybe we will, I'm not sure. But for opening up uh, secret rooms and such, we'll probably uh, use it for that. And talking of secret rooms, do ye remember uh, about the secret door in Daniel's crypt? I think we've got time to go do that. Uh, right, yes. Let's go back to Daniel's crypt. Uh, damn it. I do hate this map. It's very hard. It's very hard to actually navigate around. It's very difficult to go where you actually want to go. Dan's Crypt. Consider a gentler touch on thin walkways. Skeletons aren't exactly known for their fleet of foot. Mm hmm. Right, okay. Now, suppose whilst we're here, we can grab all the cash. And the health and all that stuff. We don't really need the health. But we can grab the throwing daggers. So I suppose really we don't need to uh, ever buy copper shields or throwing daggers. But then they don't exactly cost a lot of coin anyway. Uh, coin. Talking of coin. Yeah, as you can see, you don't get a huge amount of gold from this place, but, I mean, it's here. Uh, in the PSP game, I don't think you could grind for gold. I think once gold had been spent, it, it was spent. Now, as you can see, there's always a health vial here, which we can use to top up on health. Originally, I believe there was a health fountain here, which was much uh, better. Yes. Not bad, eh? We have our fourth life bottle. I believe there's nine. There might be ten. Um, so we've already got like five health bars. Which is not too shabby. Anyway, guys. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, next time, our adventure with Sir Daniel Fortescue will continue. On its uh, rather arduous task of chasing down Zarok, but uh, we shall cross that bridge when we come to it. So, thanks for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.